Hey guys, how you doing? Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? It's Elizabeth Marrero Lope Rivera, Rico Mantana Vera. We have finished a songwriting course and I'm here to give you some just general tips. Let's get started. First tip, believe it or not, songs come in different formats. I know you're used to hearing like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, chorus, chorus. But songwriting is an art form and so there's so many ways to do it. Some songs don't have a bridge. Some songs are just chorus. If it sounds better in a different way, go ahead and do that. Okay, next tip. When you're writing a song, make sure to use good sounds. What I mean by that is use words that have um, more of a, a firm that you um you had you consonants um words you know they have <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but you 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 can you do you I'm probably not explaining it right but ding 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 what do we have for Johnny try not to use like words with H and S and F that have soft sounds like hiss like that's a totally soft sound bus you know, it has both an F and an S. Whatever sounds that start with those kind of letters, try to not do. Try to use words that have a firm sound. Another thing that you can do, you can use the same letter that starts the word in the same line. So, I don't know if you heard coffee. She says, I envy the cup of coffee kisses you every morning so cup of coffee that kisses you those are all like the same sound that are in those words to start it almost like mr popa's penguins mr popa for mr gremmins and you are pippi papanopoulos i'm mr popa's personal assistant i process his paperwork and i prepare his periodicals she doesn't even know she's doing it but not exactly like that because there's so many keys for every single word. So not like OD like that, but it's good to do it just like un poquito así, a little bit. And in that, she kind of created a beat with the words. So that's another good thing to do. I envy the cup of coffee that kisses you every morning. So you see that little beat? Cup of coffee that kisses you. So, yeah, I like how she did that for whoever was on. Very good. Very good. Another thing to do is internal rhymes. When, and we've talked about this a little bit before, but there's rhymes that are not necessarily at the end of the line, but in between. It's just a good thing to hear. It just sounds right. Rock what you got. That was the one that we heard last time. And rock and got have the same form in the mouth so that is an internal rhyme rock what you got rock what you got don't ever let them make you stop see so the last line rock what you got don't ever let them make you stop but also they had that internal rhyme of rock when you're doing the verse to chorus um, it should be different meaning that you either change the music or you change the voice, you change the rhythm, or you change the pitch. Something should change and be different. Same thing with the bridge, it's more like a wild card, like something that still goes with it, but it's a different either rhythm, sound, or whatever. The bridge should be different from the rest of the song. Then in that, you can create more tags, like what else could this go with? What else would sound good in this song? And then you write according to that. Very creative, very fun process. I love it. The more abstract something is, the more it can relate to a lot more people. So I think of Switchfoot and their way of writing. I'm like, man, I feel it. But then it's like, what are you actually talking about in this song? And it feels like surgery And it burns like third degree 
and you wonder what is it worth. And it's just like describing all these things and creating emotions. And it's like, I feel it. And I, this can relate to me in this certain situation, even though it might not be what they were thinking when they wrote the song. So the more generalized that you can make it, the more it will attract a wider audience. If you could only let your guard down If you could only trust me somehow I swear that I won't let you go Worship songs are a lot simpler, which makes it a lot more complicated. <laughs> Worship songs need to have a generalized vocabulary because you have a general audience. You have all ages there, all different backgrounds. So you need to make sure the words are not like these eloquent words. It's something that anyone can sing along to. Not just that, but they need to be able to catch on to it. It shouldn't be wordy. Just make sure that it's something that people can memorize um, within the first time singing that they can, at least the chorus, that they can sing along and worship God with. And that's another thing, like it should be worshiping God. It should not be about us. Um, there's a lot of songs out there that are about everything that God can do for me. There is a time and place for those other encouraging songs because we do need those as well. But when you're in a worship session, it should be focused on God. Also, make sure that you don't use a wide range of notes. If you start like this and then you sing like that, then that is a wide range that not everyone will be able to sing along to. So you need to make it like, not monotone, but you need to make sure that it's reachable to the common person. Most songs use like three chords anyway. Okay, so this has been the general songwriting tips for you. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Bye. Make sure that it's not a lot of words. I don't know what that is. <laughs>